Um, thank you, Kahiri, and thank the Minister for, the, for giving some time. Could I just in, endorse the Minister's comments? And I was very glad to accompany him, him in County Monaghan to meet members of the Enough is Enough Committee, where they outlined in great detail the concerns of the local community right throughout County Tyrone, and obviously people tra who traverse that road going to the northwest. It always strikes me whenever I drive that road the huge, heavy volume of heavy goods vehicles. Far too often I have watched BBC Newsline, watched UTV, Northern Ireland. Um, news reports and hear the terrible anguish of families who have lost siblings, um, sons, daughters, parents or family members. And again, I, I compliment very, very strongly the strength of character and the great character of those family members who have come forward and outlined the pain, the anguish that they have gone through and still go through. And all of us are struck by those personal testimony. It takes a great person to be able to go in public and outline what they have been through and what their family still goes through. Back a number of years ago, I think it was 2013 or 14, at the Good Friday Committee of the Iraq this year, I arranged for representatives from Donegal County Council, Straban and Derry City Council, Mid-Ulster, um, 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 Fermanagh, Oma District Council, Monaghan County Council to make a presentation to the Oireachtas Committee where we had transport officials and officials from the then National Roads Authority. And the one thing that struck me was we often don't comprehend the huge population that is served by that, that, by that particular artery. It's a main artery and of course the the first thing that we have in mind is road safety, that people should be safe when they travel these roads. But there's also the economic aspect to it as well, in that if we were to realise the potential of the region, then we have to have proper connectivity. In those of us living in South Ulster, unfortunately we don't have a rail service. Um, so, we don't, so, we're, so we're totally dependent on the road network. And Minister, I'm very glad that you have been very helpful in getting further investment for the N2, which is needed, as this is a Q, an, an integral part of the N2A5 road project opening up the northwest. And again, it will complement and is essential for us to continue to build the all-Ireland economy that we have seen develop so, so much since the signing of the Good Friday Agreement in April 1998. Could I take the opportunity again to commend the people who are with us here today, I met quite a number of them in the past, to, to, it's, it's a joy to listen to the arguments that they put forward so cogently, so passionately and with such good conviction as well. And all of us, of course, share the value, share the the concerns that they have and we want to see that role committed and I'm glad that Minister Chambers, my colleague, has again committed government funding for this very, very important project for all of our island. Thank you, Akka